the other changes, Rob, let's just touch on those. Marcel Katsia is back in the Elise Trio. I can see that the, the, this part of the, the pack uh, changing a lot <laughs> leading into the World Cup. And then, of course, Vincent Koch um, at prop, he gets a start. Yes, big, big opportunity for him. Um, you know, he's, he's had sort of, we've seen him in just fits and starts so far, but now the real deal for him, uh, scrumming down against Argentina, one of the renowned sort of scrummaging forces on the planet, although we haven't necessarily seen them at their mightiest mm. uh, this season, but um, always uh, the potential that they could be dangerous at scrum time. So a, a fantastic sort of experiment, if you like, uh, on that front with Yanni Duplessis mm. out. Um, a great chance to see if Vincent Koch is actually the man who, who should be the sort of the, the, the dedicated backup um, mm. tight head, if you like. Um, he joins the old firm of, of Beast and, and Bismarck Duplessis. Um, so still a fair bit of continuity. In fact, in the tight five as a whole, lots of continuity mm. because the Etzebet, the Yaga combination, which is also flourishing, um, is, is allowed to sort of, uh, you know, uh, keep, uh, keep going, uh, keep chugging along, try to sort of make those positions their own. Um, and also Peter Steph Dutoy coming onto the bench Thanks is a very are. pleasing development. That's something that the, the Durban public will be mm. pleased about. Hopefully and they'll Sia get Khaleesi. Absolutely, yeah. he comes in too. Um, so uh, Sia gets a chance after quite a, a lengthy spell out from, from as far as Springbok activity is concerned um, and a, a chance to sort of see whether he can make a, what's going to be a, a tremendous competition for um, for loose forward birds mm. as ever in, in a South African yeah, context. Like I said earlier, I mean, it is uh, that back row, there's just so much depth. Yeah, there is. And uh, I quite like the fact that it's still a very mobile, mm. skillful um, loose trio. Uh, Marcel Kutsia can very comfortably, I think, do the blindside role. Uh, nice to see Heinrich Brousseau getting another opportunity mm. to try and sort of uh, cement the open side yeah. slot after showing you know, not necessarily his best form, but, but glimpses of good potential against New Zealand. Um, and Skulk Berger looking very comfortable at, at eight right now. Mm. Um, and that's, that's uh, quite reassuring in, in the possibility that uh, Duane Vermeulen doesn't uh, heal in time uh, to, to make the World Cup, which of course everyone's praying he does because he's such a, an important sort of go forward element for the box. Mm. But, uh, but Skulk looks like a, a very, very um, a classy replacement at eight because he's just so, so versatile. So in general, it's, it's, a, it's quite a dynamic, um, fleet-footed sort of Springbok side. I suppose you could argue that scrum half, Ruan Pinar, um, you know, maybe it would have been a chance to, for someone like Corbus Reinach to get a start, mm -hmm. um, perhaps partnered with his pr um, provincial teammate Lambie at 9 and 10. That's yes. not happening for this match. Um, the best we can hope is to see a little bit of them off the bench. But one, another reason for keeping Pinar maybe is that uh, with, with Farid Dupre still having lingering niggles and things, which are, must be a bit of a concern mm -hmm. right now, um, then uh, Pinar uh, is going to need to to play quite a lot of, of World Cup rugby, I would think, especially in the Northern Hemisphere where he's so familiar. So it, it almost makes sense also to then to have a little bit of continuity yeah. at, at number nine uh, if he ends up being the main man at, at number nine for the World Cup.